me and you want you you tell me about myself instead of sitting in the comments or on your on your platform address me and say how you feel and prove to what you're saying and what you spread across the app is true because you say to everyone oh, i'll only come with facts i'll say how it is and i'm this blah blah but you don't you were stating on your app that i was behind the scenes doing all this stuff which was a load of bullshit and you know it was and you made out you was insinuating that i trolled you and i fucking never So all I'm saying is just, how many times have you offered me out and fucking said all this bullshit? The first time you called me out a while back, I went in your box, if you recall that, when you went in your box. Do you remember that? And afterwards it was basically like, oh, okay then, and I left. You had the issue all this time. And you know what the crazy, you know what the crazy thing is as well. Do you know what the funny thing about it is like you're in here and trying to be funny and stuff, right? You do you recall like all the accusations that you made about me based on fa fake facts and not to the truth? Like none of it is true. There's no proof out there what you've put out, right? Because you're going off the back of things that you've seen on the FYP. Like you said, oh Alex is a racist. No, I'm not. Not in the slightest. You had no proof for that, but you played it on a platform full of three thousand people. I don't care about read the room. So when that's the thing, when you are literally right, when you are literally saying that peop, this person's a racist without any proof, is very damaging. You know what I mean? Why don't you answer it, Zach? This is what I mean. Why don't you actually answer back to what I'm saying to you? Imagine me accusing you of stuff, saying, oh, Zach's a racist, and you'll go, where's the proof? And I'm saying, I don't need to say proof, show proof, because you didn't show proof. It's a bit prophetic, isn't it? Oh, it, it, it does get repetitively boring when you can't even answer a simple question. It's madness on it. Bun TikTok lives. <laughs> nah, it's all, do you know what? It's all good. He can say, he can have his say on that, but like I said, he won't ever answer questions that are literally that he can't answer. He can't answer them because he knows he's in the wrong for it. There's no response that he can give that is literally valid. I, ain't, I who needs a tissue? I'm playing a victim at all. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. If they've got an opinion on me, they are. But at the end of the day, if they're putting things to me and I'm asking a question back, if I'm putting a question to them, they should answer. Considering it's fucking damaging. Have you got the views of Crave now? What do you mean, Crave the views? What? You wild user. are. I, I toned the live down earlier and the views slowed down. It was sweet. Rainbows in the chat for Zach. Ooh. It's like a fucking Zach live now, isn't it? Who started what? He started talking about me first. What the hell are you on about, Karma's Quiff Drink? He started mentioning me on the live, pulling faces when I was in boxes and other lives. Don't even start fucking saying I started shit. Alex and Block CC, they want in box. No, I don't think anyone's. I don't think many people have been blocked. I haven't seen anyone come on the screen that's been blocked. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, I mentioned him in a live to do with a situation. In, actu in actually, it, it, I was talking on a situation that was actually benefiting someone else, yet, but yet again, fucking hell. Did I slag him off? Nope. No, Cal, you're not coming in. Was I slagging him off? Was I speaking to him in a neg about a negative manner? No, I wasn't, yet again. But yet again, you always run with it. 
No, I'm not letting Cal in. You dragged up trauma. In what sense? How would you say I dragged up a trauma? Tinkies come to yeah, Tink Tink can. I don't I don't it don't matter. Tinks can come to all she likes. You're a trauma. Oh bless you, Zach. It's mad it's mad that you can't answer the question, isn't it? And you got people in there agreeing with you trying to body shame people. It's wild that is. Just goes to show a lot of the app is a very much sheep in it. So mentioning mention Angie's dad. Who's mentioned Angie's dad? Who's mentioned Angie's dad here? The question where you literally went on live, played a screen recording, insinuated I was a racist with no proof because it didn't happen. Did you not do that? Knowing that you had 3,000 people in your life thinking that people are going to believe you. But unfortunately, mud sticks like you was crying on your live when people was calling you out for being a scammer, lying to people, saying you was going in EastEnders to try and try and rob money off people. You know what I mean? Your poor money management skills, you was fleecing people, saying you needed money for this and that. You know what I mean? Imagine trying to scam people that are trying to help you out and saying you're going on EastEnders and you're going to pay them back, mate. Like wild, that is. Never said that, Zach, as well. I never mentioned, not mentioned sniffing chairs. See, you look, you're going on another argument now. I never mentioned sniffing chairs, mate, and in the slightest. So there you go. You're adding things to you're adding things that you don't know about. You see. There you go. I'm just answering you. You're, you've come. You've come in here. I think we all remember, yeah, but that talking about sniffing chairs, that was never even fucking I never said that at all. So there you go, you're adding things and trying to make things seem worse. Pretty odd that, isn't it? No matter what I've done I'm on this app, you've done way worse. Now I'm not letting Cal in because I've just heard what he was going on in another live and it's just point it's literally pointless. Zach person delivered me suit when I was ill. Well good on Zach. I'm the biggest stirrer on the app. What do you mean the biggest stirrer? Do I pass people's information? Do I pass things on to people? No, I don't. So how am I stirring? Do I jump into live and say this person's screen recording you? No, I don't. So this is what I mean. I know you're trying to help out someone you support, but unfortunately, there's no truth to it, what you're saying. Narcissistic behaviour. Like, honestly, I think people on this app don't actually know the, the, the word narcissist and what it actually means because literally everyone is a narcissist if they don't agree with someone that you speak about. Where's your proof on Zach? What do you mean my proof on Zach? It was outed many, many times. He's admitted to it. Like, what do you mean? This, is, that, is, that, is that what the people do? They say, oh, there's a the proof. It was outed a long time. Everyone knows about it. Like, let's let's get it going twisted now. Imagine coming on a live so people troll you. Well, unfortunately, Zach, if you're in there, you're going to have your supporters in here, and yeah, let's be honest. It's how TikTok works. It's like some days you won't go onto public platforms where you, someone else is. Say, let's say there's a bigger crater. You won't go on there because you know for a fact that the, the main support is going to be the host. Unfortunately, your crate, your platform is way bigger. You've got a lot more supporters, so your support is going to overshadow my support, is it not? 
even though it's my life. Come on. Let's be honest. I'm just speaking facts. Zach can get all the love. He doesn't bother me, like I said. Everyone's entitled to follow and support who the fuck they want. I ain't slagging you off for supporting someone. Never have, never will. We all like different people. But all I'm saying is, when people point the finger, just make sure the fucking, their closet's clean. Because no one's innocent on this fucking app. Oh, sh can you people stop going on about Marcel? Marcel... Done the madness on this app for three months about me. I've done, done a couple of pictures and everyone's whinging about it. Grow up, man. Absolutely grow up. Honestly, absolutely strange. I didn't make any photos of you. I, I'm, I'm not that jobless. You put up pictures of Michelin men. You put up pictures of fucking um, Hero 6 or fucking... What is it called? Big Was it Big Hero 6 or whatever it is? And you, and you reference me as the big fat white man. Why the fuck is white... Why the fuck is the colour of my skin got anything to do with an argument? That's a you issue, that is. That ain't a me issue. So let's so let's not all point fingers here, yeah. Because it's some, it's something that will never ever ever look good on you, unfortunately. Because let's be honest with you, any argument you're having a discussion with someone, we can all have them arguments. But when you're referencing people by the colour of their skin, that goes to say there's a hidden agenda behind your argument. Unfortunately, that's a fact as well. Because why would you reference me as a white man? I'm just a man. You know what I mean? And you've got a, you've got a literally a fucking black Brigham account. Imagine me having a white Marcel account. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. Look at the outrage. The outrage that's going to be caused having a white Marcel account. But you've got a black Brigham account. Don't come in here and try and fucking twist shit. That's Marcel. That is Marcel, yeah. I'm not talking about Zach. I'm talking about Marcel. He's coming in here. 